Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about two shift registers, parallel and serial out shift register and parallel and parallel out shift register. So first let us see parallel and serial out shift register. Parallel and serial out data enters parallelly at a time to all the flip-flops and enter a leaves serially. That means we are taking only output from the one flip-flop. So consider 4 bit shift register consider 4 bit shift register so 4 bit of information will be having 4 blocks for our just a diagrammatical explanation so these are the 4 flip flop locations to be stored the data to be stored in these locations and now data is entering parallelly so parallelly means here 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 so all the flip-flops directly taking the input this is what the loading operation is performed so this is what parallel in parallel input data so at a time all the flip-flops are taking the data and serial out serial output may be from the left hand side or right hand side depending upon the type of the movement of the direction uh, serial output the data coming out serially one after another one after another here two different operations have to be performed in this particular parallel and serial out shift register two operations have to be performed two operations have to be performed those are those are see one time they are entering the data from output whatever the data we are giving parallel input data that will be entering into all the flip-flops that is one operation another operation is the data which is already handled by this particular flip-flop need to be shifted from here to here here to here and from here to output so one time it has to load the data whichever the data available at the input so parallelly loading operation should be done and the second operation is shifting operation has to be done okay so those two operations are one is loading operation loading operation and the second one is shifting operation shifting operation so to accomplish these two particular tasks just connecting and cascading the flip-flops one after another is not sufficient that is not at all sufficient we need additional logic circuitry along with this particular four flip-flops we need additional logic circuitry and gates and or gates to accomplish this particular loading operation and this particular shifting operation let us see how the circuit diagram looks like see this is the pin which is used for shift and load bar shift and load bar shift and load bar if it is equal to if listen carefully if shift and load bar pin is equal to 1 that means that means shifting operation is performed shifting operation is performed and if shift by load bar is equal to 0 that means shift is equal to 0 load bar equal to 0 means load equal to 1 so here loading operation is done loading operation is performed okay now let us consider shift by load bar is equal to is equal to 0 consider the first case this pin is equal to 0 when this pin is equal to 0 this pin is equal to 0 so here it is 0 and here it will be 1 here it is 0 so the first line which is the horizontal line that carries 1 and the second line second line that carries 0 that means g4 is having one input as 0 and g1 is having one input as one input as here it is 1 and it is 0 it is 1 and it is 0 this is 1 we know and gate if one input is 0 irrespective of the other input output is 0 in and gate if one input is 0 irrespective of the other input output is 0 because 0 into 0 0 0 into 1 is also 0 and coming to the other gate g1 g2 g3 all these gates are having 1 as one of the inputs of this and gate 
if the other input is 0 output is 0 if the other input is 1 output is 1 so whatever the other input that will be simply buffered to the output g1 output g2 output g3 output is same as the input whatever we are giving b c d and similarly the a is also going towards the first flip flop so what type of operation is performed here see it is the second gate is r gate r gate simply whatever the r gate input if any one is there that will be one otherwise it is, it is zero simply r operation so see here we are having a here we are having b here we are having c and here we are having d that means when this particular pin is equal to zero loading operation is simply performed a b c d will be appeared at the inputs of all the flip flops this is the first operation and when this particular pin is equal to one okay take the red color see when this particular pin is equal to one red is shown for this particular operation okay when this pin is equal to one what happens shift is equal to one that means we are having one and this is zero as this pin is one here it is one here it is one here it is one and the other pins are zeros other uh, inputs of the uh, g1 g2 g3 are zeros see here it is zero here it is zero and here it is zero so simply the outputs of g1 g2 g3 are zeros and what about the g4 g5 g6 they are having whatever the input data that appears at the g4 other input that will be simply transferred okay q1 will be coming here that q1 comes here and this is the q1 location now this is the q2 location this is the q3 location and q4 is going out so what is how, what is the operation performed here in this case shifting operation is performed shifting operation is performed okay so when this pin completely the entire operation is performed here based upon the shift and load bar if shift and load bar is equal to zero then loading operation is performed if shift and load bar is equal to if shift and load bar is equal to one then shifting operation is performed shifting operation is performed okay now this is what this is what parallel in serial out see data enters parallelly this is the data entered in this is the data this is data all these data enters parallelly to the flip flop and shifting shifting serially being done okay this is what serial data shifting now coming to the next case that is parallel in parallel out shift register <clears throat> parallel in parallel out shift register parallel in parallel out shift register so data enters parallelly and data leaves parallelly the meaning of this one is consider consider 4 bit shift register 4 bit shift register so here data enters parallelly and data leaves parallelly data leaves parallelly here there is no there is no shifting between the flip flops now to understand parallel in parallel out shift register means data we are not shifting among the flip flops data we are not shifting among the flip flops just just the data which is entered parallelly that will be transferred to the output okay data enters parallelly and leaves parallelly for every clock pulse but here the common thing is clock pulse clock pulse is common for all the flip-flops okay so the logic diagram is as I mentioned 4 bit shift register so consider 4 flip-flops in cascade not in cascade here there is no link among these flip-flops this is the first input A 
for D, D flip flop, and this is the D flip flop taking the second input B, this is the D flip flop taking the third input C, and this is the D flip flop taking the D input, and the outputs we are taking parallelly. See, there is no connection from one flip flop to another flip flop. This is QA, QB, QC, and QD. But all the flip flops are having a common clock pulse. So, which is common to all the flip flops? This is clock pulse. Okay, so these are the parallel inputs, all these are parallel inputs, all these are parallel outputs. All these are parallel outputs, so parallel in parallel out, so this is parallel in parallel out shift register, thank you.